Welcome back, Kiss Army, to another episode of We Are One. Hey, what's going on, Kiss Army? Here I am, and here you are. Welcome to the Psycho Circus, and welcome to the show for another episode of We Are One. Where in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an article from Ultimate Classic Rock titled, Tommy Thayer Has No Plans for Being in a Band After Kiss by Martin Keatley. So this is pretty interesting that Tommy originally didn't know what he was going to be doing after the Kiss end of the road tour was done, and it seems that he's giving us a little bit of a hint that he at least will not be playing in a band, so we're going to be checking that out now. Tommy Thayer said he didn't expect to join any other band once Kiss completes their farewell tour, but admitted he thought the same thing before he became a member of the Masked Giants. The guitarist took Ace's position as the Spaceman in 2002 after having been part of the band's backroom team since 1994. He'd been a handyman, researcher, tour manager, musical director, and film producer before hitting the stage alongside Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley. They recently announced the release of five previously unheard Black and Blue songs, the band he formed in 1981. Titled The Lost Tapes, it'll arrive on June 3rd under the banner Thayer St. James. That would be today. The songs were written and mainly performed by Thayer and singer Jamie St. James. Asked in a recent Vinyl Writer music interview if the release signaled an open door for future work, Thayer replied, quote, After Kiss, I'm not planning on being in a band anymore. Honestly, I wasn't planning on being in a band anymore back in the mid-90s. Jamie and I always will be friends and enjoy music together, just like we have always done. He went on to explain Gene Simmons' involvement with the unheard material, which was written in the late 80s. Quote, Back then, Gene had paid for the recordings of the five songs with the idea that he might shop them or be involved label-wise, the guitarist said. Years later, we were talking about it, and he said, You guys can have the recordings back. They're yours. Free. And Thayer admitted that he effed up by keeping the tapes in his attic, which degraded the recordings to the point that the first versions he found couldn't be rescued. I started going through my old boxes of tapes and luckily found a DAT, a digital audio tape master of the four or five songs. The only problem with the fifth song was that that wasn't on a DAT. So I went back to my old tape box and found a cassette of the last one. Luckily the cassette sounded good and had it transferred so it worked. So Tommy giving us an insight as to the fact that he's not going to be doing any music band performing after KISS is completed. But if I had to make a guess, I would say Tommy will probably end up managing the KISS catalog, putting down exclusives and deluxe editions of albums. But let me know what you guys think. Talk to me in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, God gave rock and roll to you, and God bless you.